Check one, check one. All right, we ready to get started here? Let's do this. Screw the timer. Let's go now. We'll do it live. There we go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to my stream. My name is Patrick, and that dulcet sound that you hear in the background is the sort of the woods sound of the game that we're going to be playing tonight called The Flame in the Flood, and... Um, We'll talk about that in just a minute. What I wanted to cover first was something I thought that was interesting. I watch every week the um, uh, Twitch does a, uh, a show that's kind of a recap of what's going on in the week of Twitch. And um, they talk about interesting streamers and what they're doing. But they also have a new show that, uh, that they're doing. And I'm going to zip on over to this and show it to you real quick. It's this right here. Let me switch over. It's called Stream On. And think of it as, well, think of it, it's a reality show for streamers. And so what they do is they've got a collection of streamers. Let's see if I can scroll down. Yeah, these are all the streamers that they've got. Well, if, if you go to their website, this is streamon.twitch.tv, as you can see up top there. Um, they give each of these... Um, uh, streamers a challenge each week, and then they have eliminations. I think they're eliminating two this coming uh, Thursday, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific um, on twitch.tv slash twitch. You can see that way over there. Uh, and they'll, you know, I guess this week it's about um, showing that they've grown their channel, so they're looking at data. So more subscribers, more followers, more concurrent viewers, whatever. Which, for a streamer, it's weird that that's the first episode that they do. Because for a streamer, that's really not what you're supposed to think about. I mean, it's Twitch, so I guess they know better. But it's one of those things where it's like, I'm just glad you're here. And if you like what you see, you'll stick around. And if not, you'll go somewhere else. There's a zillion channels. But, um, you know, if you want to be really good, you want to be yourself and not be focused so much on the numbers and how many people are watching. Still, I like the idea of this game show format. And as you can see, if you scroll down, if they have a red dot next to them, that means they're, oops, no, back. That means they're streaming live right now. Come on. Uh, so a few of them are, like 88-bit music and Bonsai Baby. These are streaming now. So let's let's take a look at 88-bit music's channel here and see, if, see what he's got. Why not? All right? Click. There we go. So here we are. We're going to check his channel out. And see what he's got going on. Yeah, I think he's a musician based on his name. But, uh, all right. He says he's live. Let's see. New intro video and piano requests. So you can check these streamers out. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty base. Basically what he's got going there. I'm not going to camp on his stream, though. Ah. Come on. All right. So... All right, I gotta kill the <laughs> kill the music there. I don't want to incur a copyright issue here. Uni with the gifted subs going nuts. We're five away from another emote. Oh my gosh! We're All right, so you get the idea. He's a musician streamer. He's doing his thing. But check these check these folks out because they're competing essentially to get. I think it's uh, well. Here we go. Um, they're competing to see who's going to get a grand prize of $5,000 per month for a year, a total of $60,000. That's pretty darn good. But, you know, they're going to have different challenges each week. 
and the stream on show is where they, you know, talk about those streams and how they performed and that sort of thing. But it's also a good. You know, I like to see stuff like this because it's just like here's you know new personalities on on Twitch that uh, you know they have different things that they do. Some of them are video gamers. This gal here is cooking for noobs. She's doing cooking, obviously. Um, so it's kind of neat to see, uh, people trying different things. I, I followed bonsai baby here today. She's, uh, she's interesting. She's got her garage set up with a bunch of power tools and things like this. And she makes things with wood. So she's a woodworker basically, but she doesn't make just, you know, typical things. She makes like really crazy kooky looking things. Like she has some, uh, uh, Totoro's. I think it's, yeah, my, my neighbor Totoro from, uh, Miyazaki, I think was the animator's name. She's made a few of those out of wood and it's just, you know, amazing stuff. She's got just kind of just really creative. And, uh, you know, you don't see that many female woodworkers in their basement with a bunch of power tools on Twitch, right? Not, not something you see every day. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, show that and, uh, yeah, it's stream on.twitch.tv if you're interested and, uh, you should check it out sometime. But while we're here, let's go change channels over here. The game we're going to play tonight is called The Flame in the Flood, and it's from a developer called The Molasses Flood, which is a pretty cool name. <laughs> but um, what I what drew me to this one is, A, it's an indie title, and it's one of those that uh, I've been wanting to get for a while, and it goes on sale like every Christmas time, you know, on the, the holiday sales that they have. But I never can, you know, I never have any money around Christmas. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I'm always giving gifts to everybody else. And I'm always out of money. So when these sales come around, I never can get anything for myself. But like I mentioned in the other stream, I bit the bullet and got the um, um, Xbox Game Pass. And I've got with my Xbox One X, I got a coupon for a free month. And so I'm going to just go hog wild this first month and uh, play as many of these cool titles like this that you don't normally play. I mean, you've seen a zillion first person shooters and stuff and they all look pretty realistic. You know, Call of Duty is Call of Duty is Call of Duty is Titanfall is Halo is, you know, they, they all look kind of the same to me. Gears of War and all this stuff where I like a title like this that's not trying to knock it out of the park and, you know, outsell Halo but they're trying to do something really creative in a style that you've not seen before. And um, it reminds me of the time when I worked at a company called Inscape, where we kind of were a bunch of kooky artists and we were making games for other artists, really. It was not, we're not making games to, you know, top the charts and beat out Doom and Quake at the time. Uh, but we were just doing these cool little things and it, it sets you free to do really neat things. I mean, look at this art style. And here's, here's a little blurb about these guys. Let me hop out of the way so you can read that. Let's see, they were an independent game studio committed to creating games with heart. Founded in Boston in 2014, Molasses Floods made up of a team of former AAA developers. So they must have got sick of that, too. <laughs> and, you know, doing the same game over and over and over. And they decided to forge their own path. Our deb debut title is Flame in the Flood, and it's an acclaimed survival journey about forging a river with only your dog by your side. And who doesn't like a game with dogs, right? The team currently consists of Alan Villan Villani, Chad LeClaire, Gwen Fry, Gwen Fry? I wonder if it's in relation to Glenn Fry, and Forrest Dowling. Um, and so look at some of these screens. I mean, that's just beautiful, right? Here, I'll put my ugly mug back up here again. Um, but look at the, the, the use of lighting and texture and colors and things like that. I think this is going to be a fun game to play. So... Um, Anyway, that, that being said, check them out, molassesflood themolassesflood.com, and let's get into The Flame and the Flood right now. I've never played the game, so you're going to see my very first exposure to this, other than watching the trailer and thinking it was cool. Um, so let's get set up. All right, let's see. Let's do a new campaign. Traveler, survivalist. Let's do traveler. Start. This looks beautiful already. All right. Dog's got my backpack there. I don't know what the skeleton represented. I hope that wasn't me. I hope it wasn't dead already. <laughs> I like their little loading icon over to the side there. There's a little campfire. 
this is like a little survival game. And I understand that um, there's some, you're supposed to float down this river. The river apparently is procedurally generated, which means it's never the same thing twice and it's kind of randomized. Ooh. Reminds me of the bad robot opening. That's me. Pretty cool looking. Oh, good boy. The sound is really good in this game. Very atmospheric. Got a radio. Is the dog wearing glasses? <laughs> Alright, new goal, radio signal. SOS Camp Pinewood. I don't know anything about what my situation is here. Can I... Corn. Corn. Ash cake schematic added to journal. Okay. Sit at fire to craft an ash cake. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, sit. Let's make an ash cake. I'm assuming I'm hungry. Uh, okay, select. A dry cake made from corn. Edible. Currently have zero. Well, let's, let's create all. Okay. I currently have one. Uh, okay. And my hunger... Oh, I see. I got hunger, thirst, body temperature, and fatigue. Let me hide myself so you can see. <clears throat> See it down across the bottom, hunger, thirst, body temperature, and fatigue. Okay. And I'm guessing the full thermometer means good. All right, let's see what other things we got here. I'm healthy. I'm the picture of health. My current objective is radio signal. Your old radio isn't working. It's still working. You just need to get closer to the source. Maybe find high ground to hear the message clearly. And I guess I'll get a raft schematic. Okay, let's do it. Let's go find the high ground. Alright. Welcome. Player inventory. Open her backpack to access items, craft supplies, and examine your condition. Keep an eye on her health. Hunger, thirst, temperature, and rest. Okay, and that's my little icons down below. Okay. I'm just going to grab gear as we go here. Uh, boat dock. Campfire. Oh, cattails. Braided cord schematic and tinder schematic. Alright, we'll build some of those things in a minute. Shoe crows. Get them feathers. Alright. We're just gonna scavenge. Ooh. Uh, take off. Alright, quick use. Instant access to crucial items. I got a splint schematic, so I can make a splint. Okay. First aid, consumables, and utilities. And that's left trigger. Okay. All right. Nothing left but dust. All right. Let's go find some high ground here. Quest. What do I do here? Check cash. No one is useless in the world. Lightens the burdens of another. Okay. Cont contain notes with tasks to help you survive. Get a task. New goal. Basic tool. Okay. How do I see my goals? Not sure where I'd see that. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. This game is gorgeous. Leave. I don't want to leave just yet. I want to find the the high ground. All right. Mm. 
we go this way? No. Alright, let's make sure we've exhausted everything here. Campfire, archery, boat dock, and the lodge. Have we picked up everything we can pick up here? That's another question. Alright, let's use the fire. It. Let's see what else we can craft here while we're at it. Alright, we can do a braided cord. And we've got tinder. Precious commodity for lighting a fire. Alright, which uh, trip lines and snares. Let's create the trip line. Okay. I'll do one more tinder. Why not? Okay. That seems cool. Alright, we gotta find uh, high ground. Well, I see that there's a, a little path right there on the map. Go past a church and find a campsite? Maybe that's it? Alright, let's go. Come on, doggy. Fire crafting is available. Alright, I guess we are going to the boat dock. Empty. At the ready. Okay. What would happen to this place? All right, off we go. Steer and paddle hard. Okay, find a marina to repair or upgrade your craft. This must be... Ah! There's stuff over there. I suppose I should... Oh, those are... Evil-looking things. Alright. Not sure where we're supposed to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. We've got some rapids. This is going to be interesting. Oh lordy. Oh boy. Alright. Calm it down now. Calm it down. Region 1 of 10. Where do I dock? Or do I? There's a house floating away. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, this looks like a town. Ah. All right, can I... How do I... Oh. All right. Okay, consuming, whatever that means. Oh, I'm destroying my raft. My raft is effed. Alright, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Can I get to a safe spot to dock? Here we go. Alright, good boy. Amber's Rest. Let's pick up a quest. Stop bleeding. <laughs> Great. Uh. What's the dog want? 
Yeah. All right, come with me. Uh, all right, I guess I can't do anything there. Ooh, there's a barrel. Anything in there? No. Let's just... Is there a map I can pull up at all? Uh, travel by travel the river by raft in search of locations to explore. Collect supplies. Stay fed, hydrated, warm, and healthy. Rest when possible to regain energy. Okay. Oh, here's another. Campfire. Uh... Let's sit here and campfire ourselves. Mm. Okay, I'm a little thirsty. Okay. What's in my backpack? I got a few things here. Saplings, feathers, if you want your arrows to fly true. Okay, the only way to keep liquid in one spot is a jar. Alright. Best ways to filter contaminants from standing water. Need a water filter. Okay. Rags. Splint. Okay. Light boots. All right, that's my inventory. Gotcha. I'm doing fine. Still need to get... Hmm. It says select, but I'm not doing anything when I hit select. Okay. Let's go explore this house. It looks like there's something in here. Loot. Empty. Okay. Can I not open it? Guess not. Alright. What else we got by way of materials that we can collect? Not seeing any. Go this way. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, how do I kill it? Broken bone. Shit. Ah. Did I die? I don't understand. Oh, I slept. Alright. Get away from me. Damn! This thing's fucking me up. How do I kill it? Attack this fucker? Alright, he's just gonna kill me. Um, hey, game, I'd like to have a, a little bit of. Uh, ability to kill something. Alright, shit, what do I do now? Uh, I'm almost dead. So. Raft inventory is available. Where's my regular inventory? Shit. How do I get to my regular inventory? can only make one spl one splint. That's that's great. That's awesome. And I'm very hungry. Uh, well, hang on. 
We gotta... Alright, so far I'm not enjoying the controls on this thing. Can I park it someplace? Mulberries. Starvation. Okay, come on. Ah, come on. Get back there. You're thirsty. No shit. Alright, now what? I... Alright, I'm not... I'm not digging the uh, unforgiving nature of this game. <laughs> Come on now. Cause of death, starvation. Well, all right. Where the hell did I go? Pan, zoom. So I started there, went down this way, landed there, got my ass kicked, died of starvation, and died here. New personal best. <laughs> That's great. I don't feel like it's my personal best. I feel like I personally got my ass kicked. Hmm. Alright, try it again. Steals me a backpack. We get going with that. Okay, let's go. There's me. I want to know how to fight back when one of these hedgehogs comes at me and breaks all my bones. Alright, we got to get a radio signal somewhere. Oh, it doesn't let me get the... Alright, we'll take these saplings. Ah, survival info. Open the backpack with the Y button to access items, craft supplies, and examine your condition. That's what I was not doing last round. Okay. I hear you, dog. Find home for a spell. It's time to move on. See where this dog came from. Maybe there's someone else out there. Take that. Here we go. Got me another feather. Ha! Got it like that. Okay, yes, let's take all. Water filter schematic. Okay. Use the jar to gather water from rain, wells, puddles, or the river. Okay. That's been cleaned out. Quick use menu. Okay. So let's see. I should fill up my water jug here. Which is... Yeah, fill jar. Let's find some water I can use. Okay, it's not going to be there. Alright, here's some water. Okay. 
Hang on. I want the cattails. And let's fill the jar. Okay. I have polluted water. But if I use... Hang on. I've got a water filter here. Right? Okay, so I can make this using charcoal, cattails, and rags. I got charcoal back at the uh, fire here. Somewhere. I saw that that was an option. I could get charcoal out of the fire. So let's do that. Okay. No more charcoal. Okay. So that being said, can I make... Can't make a water filter yet. I need some rags. All right, let's go find some rags somewhere and we can make a water filter. Arf, arf. What's this? Check cash. Basic tools. I don't know much about gods, but I think the river is a strong brown god. Okay. Find a marina to repair or upgrade your craft. Yes, I beat the shit out of my craft last time. Alright. Let's go. Off to the river. Doesn't really explain what's going on here very well. Stamp the lights on the brand new banks, buddy cards, the kitchen sinks. I need you like I need my help in this world and out on myself. I keep walking to see the next. I like the music. Here we go. Woo! Oh shit, shit, shit! Oh. Hard to steer. Alright, we need to... Need to find a safe place to dock. Region 1 of 10. Ah! Get Great. Alright, here we go. We got a campground up to the right. I didn't pay attention to these icons before. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, let's hope there's no bad guys here that break my bones like they did last time. Clinician. So where do I find my goals? Clinician. Here we go. Visit a clinic. Old medical supplies can still be found in forgotten clinics. Find one and outfit yourself. Okay. Craft a stone knife and a stone hammer. You'll need them to craft all manner of survival supplies. Okay. Alright, I hear you, dog. So if you're just joining, we're playing the Flame and the Flood. Let's get these saplings here. Buzz off. 
get that feather. No? Okay. Uh, take it all, yes. Let's go this way, just double check, make sure we... Don't want to leave anything standing here, it's time to... Hit the ground and loot. What are you doing? There we go, got the feather that time. Let's bust in here and see what we can see. Loot. Take all, old lumber, alright. Alright, let's use the f fire. Well, wait a minute, I want to cook some stuff, don't I? Dandelions. What do I use those for? There's a lot of them. The last time I was able to make corn cakes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Buzz off. Okay. Let's search that. We got a moldy lump and some flint. We'll take it all. I can sleep in there. I don't need sleep just yet. Let's hope we don't run across anything bad. Okay. Alright, let's sit down here. I think we can... Let's get the charcoal. Sit. Okay, here we go. Can I create this item? Yes. Okay, I can make dandelion tea, which helps alleviate the symptoms of food poisoning. Don't think I need that just yet. Uh, braided cord, though. Crafting trip lines and snares. Let's create one of those. Alright. What else we got? Got saplings and yeah. Okay. I don't think I can do much else here. I wish there's a little mini map or something where I could see what, how how I'm doing. Well, there's okay. That might be that might be the mini map. There's the little um little campground. Hmm. All right. Kindle fires. Additional crafting possibilities are available. Survive in the wilds as long as possible. All right. I don't see any other stuff I can get here. Oh, I should probably... Yeah. Come on, we're going to go on the raft. We're going to go for another ride. Let's go to this church. There we go. No, come on, current. I want to go that way. Bastards. Alright. Alright. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah. Alright. I guess I can't go to the church. Uh, where can I go? Doesn't let you really control your boat that well. Oh, uh. All right. Lots of bad guys on that island. Okay. All right. Something coming up 260 meters dead ahead. What the heck is all this stuff? Alright, here we go. Let's dock. 
Okay. Entering Pranaya's Refuge. And we're light on supplies. Wait a second. Huh. It's got a little glowy thing, but I can't do anything with it. Okay. Nope. Can I do stuff with this? Yes. Lots of cattails. We can do lots of stuff with cattails. Get all these. What's this? Come on. I should be able to get that. Guess not. Okay. Craft a snare to catch rabbits. Okay. Alright. We'll do that. Those little holes must be rabbit holes. Let's get these dandelions. Okay, let's craft a snare. How do we do that? Hmm. Alright, we gotta craft something. How do we craft it? Uh, It's going to rain on me. Shit. Uh, I don't see snare. Uh, okay, get that feather. Alright, let's go to sleep. I think that's the best thing to do right now. Uh... Sure, I'll sleep for four hours. Mm. There's the rabbits. Now, how do I... How do I go about crafting the snare? Shit. Yeah, down they go. I guess I gotta build a fire. Yeah? All right, let's build a fire. Um, hang on, how do I do that? Stone knife tinder. Precious commodity for igniting a fire. Okay. Now what? Hmm. All right, it doesn't really tell me how to do a lot of these things. All right, uh, campfire. Old lumber, dry tinder. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make a fire. Uh, okay, we we're supposed to have made a fire. Um, where's my damn campfire? All right, so I can't really do any of this stuff until I can sit down at a campfire. This seems to be the... No, oh, no, no. I don't want to do that. All right, I'm going to have to find, find my own campfire, I guess. Okay, we're just going to... Pick all these things as we go. We got brambles. Ouch. Okay. Not entirely sure how to craft a snare out of what I've got here. Let me look again. Braided cord. 
trip lines and snares. Snare schematic added to journal. Okay. Where? Uh, braided cord. Stone knife. Alright, what do I need for a snare? Braided cord, sapling, and a stone knife. I need to make a stone knife. Flint and braided cord. Alright, we're getting there. We are getting there. Hush, dog. I'm trying to trying to focus here. Three of one flint, zero of one dry tinder, zero of one old lumber. That's for a campfire snare. I need one more braided cord. Okay, which I can do. And I've got everything else I need. Okay. Braided cord. And... Oh, come on. Snare. Create item. Okay, we now have a snare. Come on, dog, we're gonna go catch us a rabbit. We're eating a rabbit. Alright, two rabbits. Buzz off, we're gonna... Here we go. Come on. Let's get over here. Come on, dog. Don't scare the rabbits away. Let's see if we if we catch us one if we just stay over here and chill for a minute. Mm. Did you hear that? We got us one. We got us one, boys. How do I collect it? Yes. Okay. And now we're hungry. So cooked meat schematic added to journal. Let's go over here. And... Why didn't I create a campfire before? It's a little strange. Uh, where's campfire? Campfire. What do I need? I need lumber tinder... And I've got plenty of flint, so let's go find some wood. We need to cook this thing. Uh, so I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. Got all the cattails we can possibly get from here. Really, I don't have any wood? Uh-oh. Down they go. Can't collect that snare and use it again, I guess. Alright. So we got ourselves a rabbit. We don't have any wood anywhere to be found, so we can't make a fire here. We're going to have to go somewhere else and make a fire. Now if I can only remember how to get the hell out of here. Oh, what can I do with these bottles? Can't do anything, can we? And while I was here, let's... Okay, so we've consumed the clean water. Let's fill the jar. Okay, I've got polluted water. Now, in order to do stuff with the polluted water, we've got to unpollute the water. Let's see, clean items. Clean water. There we go. Now, cooked meat, hang on. Cooked meat, one of one raw meat, and requires a fire, so we gotta get a fire going here. All right, how the hell did I get out of here? Anybody know? <laughs> how did I get into this mess? There we go. Down here. 
down here. All right, I guess we're going to get back on the raft. Boogie on out of here. Find us something that's got some wood. There's something with trees there, 94 meters that away. So let's go that way. Hopefully, if it's got trees, that'll have wood. Veronica Pines, Wilderness, Light on Supplies. What is this bucket supposed to signify? Hmm. Alright. Oh, they say Light on Supplies. They ain't kidding around. Alright, lots of cattails. There's a... Okay, here we go. Come on, let's have something good here. Flint and rags, we can use that. Stitching kit. Ooh. I'm getting hungry, though. I gotta get something I can cook this thing with. Rabbit pelt gloves. Rabbit pelt hat. Add it to my journal. Okay, I'm discovering stuff, which is great. Yucca schematic. Oh, wait, I could probably cook yuccas. Tainted meat schematic. Hang on. Let's see what our recipes look like now. Cooked yucca. I've got yucca. It requires a fire. God, i got to have this damn fire. All right, got to get us some wood somehow and get us a fire going here. Oh shit, we gotta get us a... There's something there I could probably set a trap if I had a... Well, let's see, do I have a thing to set a trap? Let's see. Hang on. Hello. Do I have what it takes to make... A snare? I need more braided cord, which I can do. I've got that. Hang on. Where's the braided cord? There. Okay. Now we go over here. Where is it? Box trap or a snare? Uh, let's just do a snare. Ah. A snare. And we'll set it up by these little things here. Quick deploy. Don't panic. Use your... Most useful tools in the pinch. Okay. So right here looks like a great place to deploy the snare. Splint. Really? Where's my damn snare? <laughs> I thought I made one of these. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. That. Move to bag or discard. Bag full. Uh, okay. Can I build a campfire? Let's go. Build a fire. Stay warm. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Let's use the fire. Hang on. Let's sit. And let's cook our, our rabbit here. So we got a rabbit. Where is it? Cooked meat. Yeah. Boom. All right. We're getting this. Uh, let's cook the yucca, too, while we're at it. Okay. Do one more. Let's fill ourselves up. We're getting pretty ravenous there. Okay, how do I eat? I got mulberries. Let's eat the cooked meat. Boom, look at that. 
And let's see. Let's eat one of those cooked yuccas. All right. I think that's good. Now let's get some sleep. Actually, hang on. Let's get the charcoal. And let's sleep here. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. Mm. There's more rabbits. I want to figure out how to... How come I couldn't set my trap before? Splint stitching kit. No. Braided cord. Tinder. Braided cord, sapling, and stone knife. Okay, well... Here's braided cord. Okay. Now, we can make a snare. Okay. Now that I've made my snare, can I deploy said snare? Yes, I can. Let's put it right by this thing. Okay, come on, dog. Let's go over here. Let's take a, a snooze. Another four-hour snooze. Nothing. Nothing's in my strap. All right, let's back up. Oh, oh. Thought I heard something sna snag the snare. Yeah, go over and check that out. Boom, got his ass. Okay. And one. Search. Okay. All right, I think we did good. Pouch schematic, rabbit pelt boots. I like the art style in this game. Alright, I think we kind of cleaned this place out. Do I have fresh water, I guess is the question. We've got a water filter. Where's my inventory? We do have some fresh water. We're good. Let's go, doggy. And down the river we go. Let's go to that campground that way. Well, there's something right close. Let's go to this one. As long as there's no critters here that are going to attack me, we'll be all right. Seeing as I don't have any sort of... Well, I'll take that back. Let me see. Do I have any sort of offensive weapon I can use? What are all my... These are all my recipes. Braided cord pouch. Expand your carrying capacity. All right. Why not? There we go. Increased my bag capacity. Got some tainted meat. Don't eat it. It will kill you. Okay. I don't know why I need a recipe to create tainted meat, but we have one, just in case. Never know. All right. What's that? Can't go over there. Okay. Let's search this old car. Ooh, raft schematic. 
All right, hang on. Let's take a look at that. That's something worth looking at, I'm sure. Raft schematic. Where would that be? All right, so I've, if I've got a steel or stone knife, can I... We'll just cut, cut through stuff. No, it's not a... I'm going to have to make a bow and arrow if I'm going to be able to defend myself against these critters that come after me. Steel, a crude hammer. Don't think I can use that either. Hmm. All right, where would the raft schematic be? If I was a raft schematic, where would it be? Uh. Okay, not sure where it would be. But let's pick up saplings and... Hang on, dog. Oh, shit! No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. We are not going to let that guy beat us up. Can I create something to kill him with? What can I create that could kill that thing? Actually, could I trap it? Hmm. Box trap. And some braided cord, some more saplings, and I've got my stone knife for live trapping. That's not a small animal, though. That's a big ass animal. All right. So I don't have any weapons. Let's uh, let's take off. Go find another campsite. All right. All right, let's go. Hey, I got some old lumber. Probably need it to repair my shit. Ow. Hoping to get close enough to loot something. This is going to be a mistake. Uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, come on. This is quite difficult to do the uh, get these currents and stuff. You see the little white lines there? Those are your currents. Uh, there's some loot over there, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. Let's go to this church. I haven't been to a church yet. All right, let's see what we can see. this say? Eternal flame. Something, something, something. Get out of here, bird. Let's go in here. Sleep. Let's see what we can do. Crap. Let's sleep for another four hours. See if we can get out of the rain. Alright. A little bit better. Another raft schematic. Hello. 
Okay. Let's see. We want to get another get another rabbit going. Let's see. Do this. Okay, come on over here. Let's let the rabbits come out and do their thing. Ant stings. Shit. All right. Okay, so let's go over here. Dang, ant skins. Ant skins, what do I do with that? Alright, how do I build a campfire? I need some dry tinder and some flint. Cure with aloe. There we go. Okay. Hang on. Tinder I need to make, though. There we go. Alright. Now we can... Really? Campfire. Alright, I made a campfire, damn it. Really? There we go. Okay. Use the fire. Sit. All right, let's now um, cook some stuff. Cooked meat, please. And we'll take that. Uh, okay. that just in case we get food poisoning. Okay. Good. All right. Um, let's eat cooked meat. There we go. Um. Uh, let's use the fire and get the charcoal out of it. There we go. Alright, let's go gather some more materials. Gotta gather our mats. Oh, stay away from the ants. Don't step in the ants. Ants are bad. Big John Boar kept his own counsel, had his own opinions about things. Uh huh. Okay, whatever that means. Oh, stay away from the fire ants. Kill them with fire. Right. 
Let's go back in here and sleep. Okay. And we head back to the boat. All right. Well, that is the fi the flame and the flood, or the fire and the flood. And I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to call it a stream at that point because I'm going to be playing some uh, a different game that's got water and effects and stuff in it called Sea of Thieves tonight. But I'm not going to be streaming that. I'm going to be playing with a friend of mine, and um, he doesn't want to be on the stream. So I was like, all right, that's fine. We'll just play on our own. But um, Hope you enjoyed that. That was the Flame and the Flood. This is what it looks like. Uh, if you thought it was a cool looking game, um, definitely give it a try. It's in the Xbox Game Pass. And it's not that expensive if you find it outside of the Game Pass. So um, you can get it on PC, Mac, and I believe Xbox One. Uh, really a, an interesting game. I hope you enjoyed watching me play it and learn how to do the inventory thing. I can see that that's going to be key to making this thing work is to just gather materials and start building and start building and, and get a weapon going so you don't get beat up by those hedgehog things. Um, but it's an interesting game. I'll probably come back and play that some more. Uh, I like the art style. I think it's it's funky and quirky, and it's definitely a good departure from first-person shooters and things like that. And, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a cool game. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what, what else these guys come up with. Um, so that being said, thank you for sticking with me and uh, watching the stream. And I hope if you like what you saw, you hit that follow button and uh, come back and see me. And uh, we'll play some more cool games. Like I said, I'm going to be focused on, you know, games that have really interesting game design or art and things like that. I'm going to try to steer away from the typical PUBGs and Fortnites that everybody's playing and uh, try to just do some things that uh, you might not have seen before or, you know, scratch your head and go, wow, that's pretty not damn good looking stuff. Uh, sea of Thieves is definitely one of those titles as well. So you might be seeing that in a future stream of mine. So that being said, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for um, being a part of this community and we'll see you next time. Take care. Peace out.